I'm Renee Speranza. Hi, I'm Michael Fagan. And today, V is for Valpolicella, a subzone in Veneto on the shores of Lake Garda. It stretches south to Verona and north and east to the Laceni Mountains. Speaking of these four different styles of Valpolicella, I like to think of them like a family tree. We have Valpolicella, Valpolicella di Passo, Amarone della Valpolicella, and Ricciotto della Valpolicella. It is really the winemaking style that changes how each one reflects in the glass. That's so true, Renee. Today we're going to focus on Valpolicella Ripasso. Ripasso means to pass over or to repass. So the winemaker starts by making Valpolicella. Then they take the juice and pour it over the remaining grape skins from Amarone. They sit together for a while and a second fermentation takes place and the result is a fuller, more complex style of Valpolicella. I always love a bolder wine and today's example is the Montecchi Valpolicella Ripasso. Montecchi is a winery that has some 200 hectares of vineyards, 70 of which are located in the Valpolicella area that is so well known for making Amarones and Ripassos. You know, Renee, this is a really good example. It's got dark berry fruit and Morello cherry on the nose. It's got a beautiful, beautiful dark color. On the palate, it's quite rich, well balanced. The flavors come through, it's a soft tannin. This is a wine that's drinking well now, but would also reward you if you were to age it for another couple of years. What would you serve something like this with, Renee? Oh gosh, Michael, this wine is really making me think, and I want to go with something a bit bolder. I'm thinking hard cheeses, braised meats, a pasta with a delightful ragu, or even your favorite stew would go wonderfully with this repasso. Now, those are great choices, Renee. Great choices. Thank you. And we invite you to join us next time as we visit other subzones of Veneto, including Prosecco, Bardolino, and Lison Pramagiore. Until then, see you soon.